Ladies and gentlemen, hi, this is the B-Man coming at you live from the World Record Podcast Studios in Hollywood, California. Today we have a very special episode, so uh, wake the neighbors and phone the kids, because this is a breaking, this is the number one story on the planet. Um guys you know that listen we joke around on here a lot we like to have a lot of fun but today is a serious episode uh this is um top story news story episode so it's no joking matter and i guess we can uh we can bring them in right now this is the number one story in the nation Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, Jared from Subway calling from prison. Hey. Hi, Jared. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, Princess Jarella Fogella. Um, are, you, have you, are you still transitioned or did you go back? Well, I'm still in the process of transitioning, but I'm in the middle of uh, some lawsuits, so I had to put the transition on hold. What are the lawsuits about? Well, somebody tried to do a comic book, like a goofy, shitty comic about my life with my name. And so, yeah, we're in court right now. We're going to sue them into oblivion. Okay. Uh, So do you still prefer to be called Jarella Fogella or what is it? Well, I mean, I guess you can call me whatever whatever you want until like the whole transition is complete. Okay. Uh, well, I guess for the sake of confusion, maybe we'll just call you Jared now because we have... But also uh, I'm here to promote the new Halloween Subway sandwiches. I'm not just on here for, you know, my health. You know, I have a business to run. Okay, hold on. Let's... Uh, well, I guess before we do... Before we bring on our, our um, surprise guest... Yeah, I don't, even, I don't even know who this is. I don't know who you could possibly have like because i i feel like i'm a good enough guest alone i don't think you need anybody else but go ahead well uh i guess uh i guess do you want to promote some of your um some of your subway prison sandwiches or halloween sandwiches or whatever yeah these are the halloween sandwiches so we have the poltergeist uh three sandwich uh we have the uh serpent and the rainbow sandwich very popular Okay, because it's that? also like it promotes you know equality and and trans because it has rainbow in it. Yeah, and what's and, the rainbow uh, made out of? What? what? What did you just say to me? What is the rainbow made out of the sandwich portion? I think people want to know what they're eating. Uh, well, we we take we take pieces of roast beef and we tie dye it. Okay. So it's like tie dyed roast beef. Okay. And that's the serpent in the rainbow. What what is, does the serpent um, portion of the sandwich? Oh, snake of? snake meat. There's some snake meat in there. Okay. You know, because like a lot, I don't think there's any uh, fast food franchises that sell snake meat. So we're yeah. we're, you know, going to uh, offer that as like you know this is like a big deal. This is you you know th- this is healthy healthy alternative to you right. know the traditional uh, selections out there. But the snake meat is mixed with uh, roast beef. Well, tie dyed roast beef, so it's a different kind of different, little little different kind of roast beef. And is that what's the uh, is that good for people with high cholesterol? Yeah, it's it's good, and you know, like uh, you know, like a tie dye hippie culture. It's like all natural, mm-hmm. grass fed, snake type of shit. So you know, it's good for you. Okay. Anything else for your Halloween? Any uh, Frankenstein-based sandwiches or anything? No, we don't have any. This is all, like, new stuff. So we have, like, a conjuring sandwich. We don't have any of that old fucking horror shit. This is, like, new stuff for kids who like new movies. You know, not that old What about Goosebumps? Do you have any kind of Goosebumps-based sandwich? Yeah, we have an R.L. Stein sandwich. Uh-huh. Uh, he's actually participating in this. He he like picked all the ingredients himself. Um, we have a we have a uh, uh, <laughs> you have a what? We got a lot of we have a we have an enormous selection. Well, here let's call someone before we bring the guest on. We'll call someone. Maybe you can burp for them. 
We have a Dean Koontz thing, which is what I was thinking of. Dean, the new Koontz. Oh, yeah. Koontz switch. We have a Koontz switch. Well, we'll see if this place has any Halloween-based sandwiches, and then maybe you can burp for them and get a job as their spokesman. Or spokesperson, oh, so. sorry. I'm not your fucking... Uh, phony phone call monkey. Listen, you're going to be out of... Let's just get that right out there. Hey. Please do not leave any phone orders on the voicemail. It will not be listened. All right. They didn't answer, I guess. Um, you know, I'm just, listen, you're going to be getting out of prison very soon. I'm just trying to get you a job, idiot. You Look, know? I've already worked for Subway. I make millions of dollars. Uh, you know, I'm we only see doing where that these... Got, I'm yeah. only like, I feel like I'm only doing these places a favor trying to promote them like you know just doing a good deed i don't need any money yeah i'm loaded man do you, you think transitioning is cheap i don't know i don't know you what think? that costs and plus i'm gonna probably make a fortune once take over delivery hey how's it going i was about calling me. about um do, so do you guys stupid. have any he's uh, so ugly and stupid do you guys have any halloween he, th he thinks sandwiches? He's, he thinks he's 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 have smart any... but he's not once jared once can gets, you shut up once he gets jared. served jared shut up Sorry. I'm trying to tell you well, about that. Do you my have, life. Um, I'm calling to see if you had any Halloween themed sandwiches. Oh, no, not yet. We might eventually. We're boss talking about it, but nothing yet. Okay, well, I have um, Jared from Subway on the line. Are you familiar? Mm hmm. Jared, do you want to give this guy a burp? Uh, what's up, bro? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. He hung up. Can you hear him? Do you have headphones on or anything, Jared? No, because you you just but I heard him. doesn't seem like you can hear when I'm trying to talk or make a call or maybe you're well, just it's cause, maybe mostly because I don't care or maybe you're just a rude little saying. pig. Maybe you're just a rude little pig, <laughs> and you know what? Let's uh, bring on. Um, Look, I don't have, have to do this. I can go. I just have some other things. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a surprise guest now. here to surprise Jared. Jared from Subway. This is your life. Uh, welcome everybody. Welcome to the program, Mr. Steve Nig. Hello to all. Fuck to you, to Jared. I didn't. I did not agree to this. This sort of sandbagging. Good afternoon, Mister Nick. Well, Jared, let interview. me tell you something. I understand you're interested in transitioning. I like to transition your face into a bloody pulp. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're not. That's not going to happen because we're. I'm in. We're in two separate facilities now. So. Wait, Mr. Nig, are you still in? Uh, are you still serving any jail time, or are you a free man? I'm a free man. Oh, and I am spending my time out of prison, eating at Quiznos. Oh wow! Fucks. <laughs> Wait, who? Oh, Quiznos, the people that set me up. Oh, really? Quiznos set you up? Oh yeah, you think I'm not a child molester? They put all that stuff on my computer between Jersey Mike's. And Quiznos and Blimpies, <laughs> they all conspired to take me down because I was the big man. I was the I was the top of the top of the food chain. And so they knew that in order to survive and beat Subway, they had to take me down. And that was their plan all along. You can read all about it in my new book and uh, documentary that I'm making. Mr. Nig, so the, why don't you walk us through the what some people say the best day? It probably the best day in your life, but uh, do you want to walk us through that day in twenty? When was it? Twenty sixteen, when uh, it looks like January 29th, twenty ninth, twenty sixteen. You and uh, Jared here, you were walking around the exercise yard at uh, a correctional federal correctional facility. And you want to just uh, that's right. So uh, why don't you? I was I was walking around and I saw him with the other child molesters. Yeah. In the, in the facility, you know, they all hang out together because no one else wants to hang out with them mm -hmm. uh, because they're disgusting and deplorable. And they will not salvage their good names by promoting Halloween sandwiches, okay? Yeah. And for the record, I hate Dean Koontz, okay? Just, just let me get that out there right now. All right. So there's no mistaking that I would ever eat that stupid sandwich that you just promoted. <laughs> nice. Okay? Anyway, I spied, I spied Jerry and I said... I gotta take my shot. You know, this guy is, he is a repulsive person and I'm going to beat the shit out of him. Yeah. And also, I don't like how Subway uses ice cream scoopers to give you tuna salad. There's something weird about that. So yeah. I said, this guy's gonna take both the child molesting and the ice cream scoop Subway tuna salad beating. 
No, yeah. and, I, and I dished it out, and I served it up hot and toasty. Nice. No and you, uh, so what was the first move? Did you just, like, kind of approach him and then just uh, pop him one in the, in the nose, or? I mean, I, I saw him, and, and, you know, he's, this is sad to say, but I guess suppose he is a celebrity at the yeah. facility at this time. You know, we don't have a lot of pitch men or uh former fat asses yeah. in the unit you know uh-huh. so i saw him out of the corner of my eye i said this is my shot you know the the guards were far enough away and i said i'm gonna take this guy down okay i've beaten up a child molester at every facility i have been in oh okay? nice That's i beat up as many as i can yeah and jared mm-hmm. so um what does it how does it feel talking to uh mr nick here for the first time since um uh, well he kicked first of your all, ass you know <clears throat> i'm suing mr nick so yeah, and there's like I'm not I'm not even supposed to be on the phone with this person. You know, this is this is a legal situation. You know, so but I will just to defend myself here. I will say that this guy he's pathetic. I was busy. I was talking to people about like building their own subway oh. franchises. He he snuck up behind me while I was showing them how to scoop the tuna. Oh. And he just hit me in the back of the head. I didn't even see it coming. That's how much of a pussy this guy, this Nig is. Well, it Nig sounds like, is a pussy. It sounds like he beat you up pretty good, though. He just got one shot in before the guards came and took him away. He was a re- he was a he he was a sneak. He he sucker punched me. Uh huh. And how did you and, retaliate? And he he totally hasn't tried the Dean Koontz sandwich because if if he took one bite, he would he would start reading a Dean Koontz. Did you, did you cry? That's how good the sandwich is. Jared, did you cry? Yeah, did you cry? That's a good question. Who the question. fuck is that? That's uh, Hellman. It's your mom, bitch. Oh, it's your mom. Who, did, who, is, that, who is that man who it's just started man. speaking? It's uh, I'm Ms. not a man. Sounds like a, sounds like a grown man. It's your mom, right. Joan like Fogel. Like a, a, a grown 300-pound man. No, me, I'm a very like petite. That. I'm a model, actually. A part-time model. Thank you. She models for uh, a zit uh, cream uh, ad. She uh, does the before pictures. At the ass zits. Yeah, she's an ass zit model. For, ass uh, zit. So I'm gonna What's take that, that as a yes. You ass cried zits. Like, you cried like a little bitch. It's like when you wear when you uh, fall well, asleep. You'll and... be crying when when uh, when I fucking punch you in the face. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's did you ever fall asleep in a wet bathing suit? When you I wake, get out of here, wake up with ass when I get zits. out of here, you're the first stop, lady. Really? You're gonna yeah. punch me as soon as you get out of jail. Oh, that's that you can. That's not a threat. That's a Mr. Promise. Nig. Mr. Yeah. Nig, did Jared retaliate or, at all, or did he cry like a little bitch? Well, first of all, I have to say, it is sad to see that chivalry is truly dead. This guy, Jared Fogel, is a classless person willing to punch a woman when uh, he first gets out. That's true. Thank okay, you. chivalry is officially dead. Okay, I think Jared, that she sounds like a man. That. She sounds like a man. So it's oh, I okay. Don't. <laughs> She sounds like a grown, grown ass man. I, I mean, I guess that's you know. No, I don't. Can't you just be on my side? Yes, you from, you're do. always on Jared's I'm side. I'm not on his side. No, I'm just. No, listen, no, there's two sides that's to every what you story. Sound like. I can't. This is what you sound like. No, I don't. I can't tell. I'm not inside Jared's head. I can't. I'm not listening with his ears, so I don't know. It's like sometimes somebody will take a bite of a sandwich and they go, "Oh, this tastes like a Big Mac," and other people are like, "No, it doesn't. It tastes like a Whopper." So it's like uh, he might think you sound like a man. That's a great analogy. Yeah. Well, what and about also, the, yeah. I want to say that the reason that Steve Nig sucker punched me was had nothing to do with being a child molester. We had it, we had intimate relations in jail. I I whoa. was he whoa. wasn't very whoa. good. Whoa. He wasn't very good at the huh. with the oral pleasuring. Wow. So wow. I broke up with him and he was mad and that was the reason why he attacked me. That was the reason. He was mad at you cuz Cause you because we up. broke up. We yeah. broke with, I broke off our jailhouse romance. Because he didn't it know It only how to lasted suck. a weekend, and that wow. was it. I told him I had a sex furlough with my wife. I didn't want to be with somebody who was such a poor uh, blowjob giver, so I, <laughs> I broke it off, okay? Is there okay. any truth to this, uh, Mr. Nig? Okay, confession time. I am not that great at giving blowjobs. That is fair to say. However, Jared, in fact, it was reversed. I came on to you. You rejected me. And I said, I hate this child molester and I beat the shit out of you. Okay? (laughs) That's the truth. Okay? 
That's the truth, Ruth. I believe Nig. I mean, Steve Nig. Uh, what did you say, Kurt? I believe Mr. Nig over Jared any day. Yeah. Yeah. Now, well, why don't you make a T-shirt of that? I support. That's a good. Mr. I, I support. Like, on the front will say I support Nig. Nig, and the back will say I don't support Jared Fogel. Yeah. Or, or in parentheses, the guy who beat up Jared in jail. Yeah. I support Nig. Is that what you're saying? That's what the shirts are going to say? I get. I mean, Jared, you, one thing about you, yes, you're a liar, you're a child molester, but you are a good businessman because that's a good idea for a shirt. Well, I got it. I got it. Speaking Hashtag of business believe ideas. believe Nick. You think that's a good idea for a shirt? I don't think so. <laughs> I think that's very problematic. I don't think so. I don't see what the problem is. I, it's the guy's name. name. You yeah. capitalize it. Yeah, well... Okay. Uh, I will say, believe in Steve do rhyme, but I like yours better. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> wait, Steve I believe. Nig. Or I just, I believe in Nig, I think. Yeah. Or believe or Nig. Or Nig the truth. It's got a better ring. It's, it's got a better ring. Because then it, it's kind of like Steve Nig, but it's just believe Nig. Yeah. You know? Uh, let's call a pharmacy here and let them. Well, I have I have an idea, too. Uh and was, isn't it also true that once when Steve sucker punched me, I fell down and I said, I've just been nigged. Yeah. And that just became that became slang in the jail for being sucker punched, getting nigged. Now, were the, the were the inmates making their own T-shirts uh, or anything? Yeah, they were picking sides like, you know, how like with what what's that movie with team team Edward and. and yeah. Twilight. Uh, Edmund. Yeah, it was like Twilight. So people had like their people were choosing sides. So there was like Team Jared and Team Nig. Yeah. I'm surprised anybody would be on Team Jared though. You you must have been the only one. On, well, he's on a celebrity. Team Jared. Oh no, I'm very, every very very popular, and especially with my lots, I have lots of money, and especially with my connections to great sandwiches. You know, at Subway, people want to get involved. People All like right. me. They don't okay, like Jared. Me. Jared, shut Nobody up. Nobody wants to hang out with Nig. Shut up. We have to make a phone call here. Not true. And I'm sure Steve has a, a lot Steve of friends. Steve seems like a great guy. Steve seems like a very cool dude. Hi, I have um, we have a well, I have a couple things here. I have my wife Hellman is on the line, and she needs zit cream for her ass. I'm sorry, what kind of cream? A uh, zit cream for my. I have zits on my ass. Ass acne or whatever. Uh yeah. Uh. Let me see what kind of uh, it's it's a prescription or the over the counter. It's for an it's for her ass. It's ass zit cream. Like you know, in the between ass. the cheeks where it gets real wet. Yeah. And okay. also, as a side note, we also have Steve Nig and Jared from Subway on the line. Jared, do you want to give the guy a burp? No. <laughs> Is he crying? I don't this know. Too upsetting. Oh, he's he's <laughs> upset. Mister Nig, would you like to say hi to this pharmacist? What's up, I, bud? Know, but I don't have time. I am working as a farmer. Yeah, we're very busy as well. We so. don't have we don't have that over the counter cream. You don't have and you don't have any cream for ass? Do you have any ass creams? <laughs> okay, Can hung. I ask you something? Do you like Dean Coons? He hung up. Sorry, Steve. Uh I guess I'll have to call Man. a different place. I don't know what Wait, the... I missed it. What's the Dean there's a Dean Coons sandwich? Oh, Jared. Uh... Yeah, there's a Dean Coons. I was promoting if you were fucking if you weren't late for the show, stupid, you would know that I was promoting all the Halloween sandwiches at Subway this month. That's the only reason I'm on the air. He does have a point Steve about that. Big bullshit. All right. So there's a Dean Coons <laughs> sandwich, there's a Goosebumps uh sandwich, there's a uh a rainbow serpent in the rainbow, which is snake meat and tie dyed roast. Beef. There's, a, there's a poltergeist three sandwich. There's a conjuring sandwich. There's a dark backward sandwich. So you're saying there's a sandwich with snake meat in it? Yeah. Grass yes. Fed. Cause there's no other. And this is like a first, there's no other fast food franchise with yeah. snake meat sandwiches. There, maybe there's a reason that there's no snake meat sandwich. And I mean, that it's cobra disgusting. meat. That's what they said. From it's meat. from a cobra. Is it venomous? Like, do you get sick from it? No. Oh, yeah. That's what makes it so hot. Like, it's a Halloween sandwich. So you, uh, you have, like, a nightmare, and then you vomit. Oh, that oh that's pretty cool, that actually. That is kind of fun, actually. Yeah, yeah see? Uh, so let's call, let's call some subway places and make sure that they have the new... Serpent in the Rainbow Sandwich. Okay. What's that? A re what's that a reference to? There's a movie called The Serpent in the Rainbow. Ding dong. Is it scary? 
Yes. The tar fine. It's not a gay porn. We, we only make sandwiches for the You from sure stuff it's not a gay real, porn, Jared? During Halloween when it's really scary. Jared, Helman has a question. It's legit. It, are you sure Serpent in the Rainbow is not a gay porn? Because that seems like more up your alley. Well, no, but also we do know that it's it's sort of like it, it walks that line mm, of being it's both scary, uh -huh. but also it attracts a lot of the trans customers that come into Subway who love Subway sandwiches. You know, we're trying to tap into that market. There's there's millions of trans people who like uh, healthy lunches. And so, yeah, we're trying to tap that market. So we're going to, okay. um, we'll call a sandwich place so if they have this. Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nick, have you ever seen the film The Serpent and the Rainbow? I actually have not. It is on the list, though. Okay, yeah, that'd be good for uh, yeah. October. All right, we'll call this place and see if... Uh, the sandwich place Cocktober. carries that. You ever heard this? Cocktober. You ever heard that before? Uh, <laughs> well, you get one more, hear, Jared, and then you're tober. off. Then you're off you the hear, line. Shut the fuck up, Tober. You ever hear that? You get one more burp, and then Aaron's cutting you off. He's going to hang up. Uh, that's it. That's you your last him? one. No, that's his calling card. You ever card. hear of drop dead Tober? No, I've never heard of that. Did you ever hear of shut your mouth, Tober? Have you heard of that, Hellman? That's a legitimate question. No. <laughs> okay. Does it really make Thank you for sense? calling. Hmm. A lot of these uh, sandwich places don't like to answer their phone, which is always, as I find, very good for business. Well, I'm sure Subway is like people keep calling. Yeah, they're obviously very busy because Jared they're being probably pedophile. listening now to me promoting the, the, the new Halloween sandwiches, and so their phones are ringing off the hook. That's yeah, true. Right. That's actually probably true. Uh, oh god. Yeah. We'll save it for the the um the sandwich place. We'll see if we can get you a job. Steve. Well, let's call Quiznos and accuse them of setting me up. Okay. Steve, do you can no, you I would love we to are hear not this. available now. Okay. Please there you go. Maybe cuz it's lunchtime if they're just too busy. These this how do you know I'm calling around here? Oh, then I don't know. You must know it all. Steve, did you um Steve, can, can you burp on can command? You burp? Uh, let me see. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> also, trying, I want to tell everybody that that the reason <laughs> Steve attacked me is because he was pitching an idea for you a already said... He wanted me to create the nig witch. Yeah. And I said that's not a good idea, Steve, and he was so mad. That's why he punched me. Well, I thought it was because he gave you be... a bad blowjob. No. That's also, there can and be also, several reasons I think, for something. I feel like if the relationship, if there was a romantic relationship between you and Mr. Nig, that you would be the one giving the blowjobs. Yeah, you are one. more of a bitch, I think. Yeah. You're also like a a well, fat you'd bitch. be wrong. And you'd you're be fat. wrong. It's, on, it's all on Wikipedia. You can look it up. I didn't make this up. So right. Nigwitch will be on Wikipedia? Okay, hold on. I'll look at that. I'll yes, look that it up. will. Look, you look Google Nigwitch and see what you get. Okay. Take the see. safe search off. Yeah. Is that one word? Nigwitch, yeah. I yes, guess. it's one word. Two G's. Uh, it's just coming up for a band called Nightwish. Let's see what they sound like. Oh, yeah, they're good. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Sleeping Sun. Uh, huh? I don't know if the... Hold on, let's see. Okay, here we go. Nightwish. Um, we'll just play this first one. They have a song about the Nig Witch. How oh, do they? Yeah. Nig Witch by Nightwish. Very curious. I probably know. I, I, I haven't heard of that, and I'd probably know if they named a sandwich after me and then wrote a song about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's but, true. You know, <laughs> I guess. Somebody would have at least texted you about it. I think I would have heard. The boys would have told me or something. Okay, this is Nightwish. Not what I thought it was gonna sound like at all. I think all. they're Irish. I was gonna say Chinese. Oh, maybe they are. No. Endless Forms Most Beautiful is the name of their album. Okay. 2015 album. This is your type of music, isn't yeah. it, Jared? This is you definitely like this the shit. kind of shit Jared listens to. Yeah, we, to. Used, we used to make love to this in the prison. I mean, it's almost, it's almost, maybe this is Christian rock or something. 
What would Ghost, the Nightwish be then? Nightwish, Ghost Love Score. Oh, this is a live version. What would a Nightwish be? Yeah, like... I guess when you pray to God or whatever. Oh, yeah, duh. Well, since we have Steve Nig on the phone, why don't we ask him what, what is his Nigwish? What's in your Nig... If you could have a Nigwish, what would be in it? Yeah, Steve, Steve. let's just... I know you, you're not a supporter of Jared, but what if... Uh, what if you were a franchise owner, um, and you got to you got to design your own sandwich? Yeah, what's that the dream? The nigwich? Like, what's the dream sandwich? What what are, what's the dream nigwich ingredients? Sky's the limit. Like, you can have well, any. First ingredients. of all, I my doctor tells me I need to watch my carbs, so it would be a wrap. Okay. Okay. First of all, let's be clear about that. A wrap. Okay, that's cool. So you get that, uh, you know, tortilla or that, uh, you know, uh, a lavash bread wrap. Okay, so it's like a, it's, week. so. This is a nig wrap um, then. Yeah, nig a nig wrap. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Nig wrap. Mm hmm. Yes, and you know it has a. I mean, you got to have provolone, right. cheddar, and American. Nice. Oh, yeah, three types of cheese. Okay. A hat I, trick. I mean, guys. One thing about Steve Nig, he loves his cheese. Okay. I, I, I love okay, my cheese. Like... People know that about me. Okay. I mean, even Jared probably heard that, you know, uh, you know, at the at the prison, you know. Did you know that? Back Jared? me up on that, Jared. Okay. Well, I just want to say that if I'm ever in a room with Steve Nig again, I'm going to be wrapping him in the mouth. So. The, well, uh, why, the why would you? That'll why be, would you retaliate? Be the rap that people will remember. Why would you retaliate this time when you didn't last time? Yeah, last time you just he ran away crying like me. a bitch. Look it up. Bitch. It's on. He went crying to the warden. I was like, sucker, oh, I was he... facing. I was facing the other way. He came up behind. He snuck up behind me on his tiptoes. You were like, you were like, ow, oh, that hurt. Oh, Mr. Warden. He was wearing, Mr. He was Warden. wearing socks at the time. Oh, Mr. Warden. Steve Nick just punched me in the stomach, Mr. Warden. I want my mommy. I want my mommy, Mr. Warden. I don't even understand. Like your your voices are altered in a way that I can't even understand what you're saying. Well, it's act it was altered to the Jared effect. It makes it sound like yeah, you well, have to get it, punched. It was ineffective. You're punched right in the stomach by Steve Nick. Completely. And you're, you're trying to make a joke and it wasn't even it didn't even work. Steve Nick comes up to you, punches you in the stomach until your stupid sandwich comes flying He's out of your mouth. He punched me in the stomach from behind. <laughs> Give you a reach around. Is that true, Steve? Or did you <laughs> confront him and, and hit him face to face he, like a man? He sucker punched me in the stomach. I was facing the other way and he, he swung around. around yeah. Around the corner. Yeah. I was on the other I was on the, around the corner and he swung around the corner nice. into my stomach and I puked. That's a good move. You puked up the sandwich you made? Yeah, I had just made the new serpent in the rainbow sandwich at the prison and he, I puked it all up. Mm. Okay. So the so the Nick yeah, the guards were more mad about that having to clean up that vomit than yeah. anything else. They had to get it was, that it was a substantial out, amount you know? of vomit. Oh, it was yeah. nasty. Oh, yeah, so that's nasty. like they kind it of was treat, nasty. They treat vomit like they do in an elementary school. They have a guy. It got all over the bars and everything. Oh, well, I thought this was in the yard. That too. They well, they had they have they have a couple bars in the yard. Oh, like a tiki bar. <laughs> it was no. Yeah, they had a t no. <laughs> Yes. Tiki torches. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that's nice kind of nice. Do. Rum yeah. drinks and stuff. Like, that doesn't sound that bad. Because cruel and unusual. They actually have. They had a Tiki Taco Tuesdays on Tuesdays. Actually, it was pretty fun. Right. So we were making <laughs> the new taco sandwich it, huh? <laughs> at the at the at the prison tiki bar, and he, he sucker punched me from behind, but in the stomach. Well, that's the one thing I do disagree on. He should have at least waited until you were away from the bar, because he, he should have tapped me on time. the shoulder and, and said, "Excuse me." And then whacked you right you, in the face. And then I would have like, I would have gone immediately into karate mode, and he would be fucking dead. Doubt it. There's no yeah, doubt right. in my mind. Doubt it. If I okay. knew he was behind. Why don't me I propose this? That, and this he is would uh, not be living right now. You let's guys, just make that. Let's just make that clear. Shut up, Jared. Shut the fuck up. So I'm proposing this live on the show. Uh, Jared, you get out of prison before you know it. Really, I mean, you're coming yeah, up the home very, stretch. Very How many more years? Not many. Just I don't a know. Couple. Just a just few. Just a few. Yeah. He's uh, what did he, what did you get? You got like 16 years, but you're eligible for parole. Either way, uh, when you get out, I'm gonna propose this. If uh, Mr. Nig is up for it, would you guys extra, extra. <coughs> boom, boom, boom. be willing to do a uh, boxing uh, match for a charity? Yeah, absolutely. I would do it. I would do it today. 
Okay. What charity would you would you fight for, Jared? And I'm jacked. Let me tell you, I am. I am. I've been working out every day, mm-hmm. uh, taking supplements. Even though I'm transitioning too, I'm still oh, working right. out, and I look great. Um, how's that going? He's had it's to put going, it on hold. None of your business. That's how it's going. Someone. Okay. He's had. You ever hear of none of your business, Tober? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's what month it is. That, <laughs> All right. Hellman, have you heard of that? No. Have you ever heard of mind your own fucking business, no. Tober? Hold on. The he didn't let him the, finish. The month. He said, "Have you ever heard of mind your own fucking business, Tober?" Yeah, I heard it. Oh, you've time. you've heard of it? I heard him say it before. And but no, you've I've heard never, of it no, from before? No, not besides, not besides Jared saying it, making well, it. Well, why don't you right celebrate it? Do you, Shut up. Do you celebrate it? That's a. Okay, so, yes no, so yes someone comes no on my show and I'm not allowed to ask them questions. Okay. He's asking you a question. Do you know, yeah. have you ever heard of Shut this the Fuck t- Up? No, I've never heard of that. No. And do you celebrate tits, it? No, I don't celebrate it. Tits for tat. Tits for tat. Shut up. Um, so, Mr. Nig, sorry for interrupting you. Transitioning. Uh, is that is that what the uh, is that how they is that a form of payment when you get transitioned? Tits for tat. Yeah, you. Tits like, for tat. That's you, how. That's that's you, the payment plan. You give the doctor a, a prison tattoo in exchange for. Uh, yeah, for tits. Big, big fat titty big implants. Titties. What size are you going, Jared? Uh, triple G. Oh, same as Robin Quivers. So like flat, right? And Lisa, and Lisa G. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Nig. So, so far we have we have a um, we have a tortilla wrap, the the triple the uh, hat trick of cheeses, provolone, American, and what was the third? Goot Swiss. I don't remember. I don't it remember. was it was. We're really going to finish the sandwich description. <laughs> if you, I mean, if I mean, it's this. It's, <laughs> it's just a three tree. It's just a three cheese wrap. Oh, that could be it. This, really. See, this guy can't even. He can't even come up with a sandwich. And you think he? He's, Actually, it's a three. He beat a, me up in prison. Like he can't even come up oh, with a sandwich. Oh, three cheese wrap sounds like a sandwich Wrong to again, me. Stupid. Three cheese wrap. No, and no. You heat it got, up and it's melted. We got the, that is that does sound good, but it's got cheddar, American provolone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pickled uh, artichoke hearts. Okay. Right in there. Love Put it. Put them on there, and then mm. you got some. Uh, you got some roast beef, and uh, uh, some uh, uh, shredded lettuce. Yeah, of course. Tomatoes. Okay. Red onions. Nice. Black olives. And mm. then you wrap it all up, it's and you get a little dipping sauce on the side. Okay, it's, that's Steve's prison. special sauce. I won't. I won't reveal what that it's is. Prison it's sauce. A trademark get Steve secret, sauce okay? or Steve. Nick, Nick sauce. Nick juice. Steve Nick sauce. Juice. Yeah. Nick sauce. Yeah. That you can call it that too. Okay. And <laughs> you have fun. I mean, I mean, who doesn't love dipping? I got. It. Uh, they're Nick and I just want to say that, that Steve fun. gave me some. Steve gave me some blowvalone cheese in the prison cell. Yeah. Well, I got to oh, tell you, Mr. Yes, Nig. Yes, I did. And it was fantastic. I don't care what you say. Mr. Nig, I got to say, Jared's been on here multiple times promoting all of it, promoting sandwiches for years. And uh, I, I got to say, the Nig wrap sounds delicious. It blows all the other sandwiches that away. That sounds gross. Sounds gross. Thank we would you. never allow that sandwich to be made at Subway. It sounds horrible. Uh, Jared no. prefers black, yeah. black and tuna, black tuna. Yeah, that was a very that's a very creative Halloween sandwich that we sold last last Halloween. And and it got people. It was sick. a huge seller. Thanks and a lot. It, yeah, I mean, it. I think it killed a few people. Killed a kid. A kid Didn't died. Didn't kill anybody. It killed it killed at the bank. Yeah. Let's just say that. <laughs> so that's all you care about is profits. Success. Yeah, hey, I'm a, I'm a this huge is, uh, success. Is this all of you guys are jumping Shut up, are Jared. Shut Jared. up. me in the stomach and, and calling Jared. me names. Jared, me- we're on the phone. Shut up. Hey, is this Quiznos? Yeah, this is Quiznos. Uh, we, have, uh, we have Jared from Subway on the line. Okay. Jared, do you want to say hi? Now he's being a baby. Yeah. I knew he was going to pull this. Yeah. Jared, just say hi. Well, you might like this. I set me up. Um, We also have Steve Nig on the lines. Mr. Nig, do you want to say hi? I do want to say I want to say I love your sandwiches. Oh, they're way better than Subways. Mm. No way. They're not better. And we wanted to. uh, Oh, so now you're talking. We're number one. Now you're talking. 
Uh, so we want to order some sandwiches here, sir. No, okay. we don't. Uh, do you have the serpent? We don't want to order. Your sandwiches are fucking disgusting. Subway sandwiches are better. Do you have the serpent in the rainbow sandwich, which is snake meat? Snake meat and no, they only have meat. that at Subway. It's snake meat and tie-dyed roast beef. Can you make that? Grass-fed cobra. <laughs> no, it's not a joke. Oh, he hung up. He thinks it might be a joke. What's yeah, a joke? What's a joke about? Of course, about he's gonna hang up. He's afraid of the truth, just like you guys are. What's funny about having Jared from Subway and Steve Nig on the line, calling Quiznos? There's nothing funny What's about. What's funny that. about that? Nothing. It ain't no joke. Yeah. <laughs> Quiznos it was actually pretty good. That's a once in a lifetime event. Remember the commercial with like the little rat guys that were like, "It's Quiznos subs." No. Remember they were singing. I only remember. You think it would just be, you think, like, why doesn't Quiznos hire Steve Nigg or, like, your enemies? It seems just like a no brainer. Yeah. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's see. We'll call another place and see if they, uh, if they'll hire Mr. Nigg as their spokesman. I would be up for it. I'll tell you that much. I don't know why I'm trying to get you work. Hello, David. How can I help you today? Hi. Um, yeah, it is kind of strange, I, but I appreciate it. I have, sure. um, well, you're never going to believe this, but I have Jared from Subway on the line, but I also. I also have Steve Nigg on the line, the guy who beat him up in prison. And Mr. Nigg is looking maybe for a spokesman opportunity with Quiznos. Because that would be, uh, you could sell it as the guy who beat up Jared in prison. Um, I, can't, I, I guess this is really not my department. I can give you my boss's phone number. And he also has an idea for the Nigg witch, but it's, all, it's actually a Nigg. Do you do raps there? Yeah, would you like the, bo the number to my boss? Well, do you do, you do raps? Because we'll probably order yes, we something, do. too. So, um, yeah, so the, the Nig wrap is a uh, three-cheese wrap. Mm -hmm. It's American cheddar and provolone. And then there's shredded lettuce, roast beef, red onions, tomatoes. Are you olives, writing this down? Olives and artichoke hearts. Pickled artichoke hearts. Did you get all that? Um, we don't have pickled artichoke. Do you have... And write this down. It's called the Nig wrap. Okay. Write that down for your boss. And also, uh, for Halloween, we'd like to order two Serpent in the Rainbow sandwiches, which is grass-fed cobra meat and tie-dyed uh, roast beef. And that's for Halloween. That You have that. Does that have prison sauce on it or prison cheese on there? I think it no, comes... No, we don't, we don't have that. You don't have prison cheese? No, we, we don't. Do you have nig sauce for dipping? No, we don't. What about nig juice? No. Okay. Uh, sipping. That's I for sipping. So, cause we are a little busy right oh, now, put a so customer on the phone because we, they we, probably we, want to meet Jared. Jared, do you want to give this lady a burp? Okay. Have yeah. a nice day, guys. Hold on. Well, I don't know what her deal was. <laughs> Sorry, asthma. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Asthma keeps you from burping. God, you really just like. Yeah, he's just like you the just worst guest down, in the world. Man. It's like he doesn't shut up You're when. You're fucking stupid. We're trying to talk. He's stupid. He's a child molester above all, really. Is I kind know. Of the that worst should be the trait. first. That that's, should be the number one thing. Look, when my documentary comes out, Subway to the Truth, all of this is going to come out, and you're going to see that I was set up did by you, Quiznos, your Subway Jersey Mike, shit. Did you, did you interview and Blimpies, Nick? Did you the interview? Unholy Trinity, the, the axis of evil. Did you interview did you, any of the Nick family for your documentary? Yes. Absolutely, yes. We interviewed Mrs. Nig, uh, old, old man Nig, his father, uh, the Nig children. We, we interviewed many, many Nigs for this documentary. Let's see. I just, I looked up, uh, let's see if we can get another Steve Nig on the phone here. Um, what do you mean? How'd you look him up? I, well, I'm just seeing if there's, you know. Isn't one Nig enough? Yeah, I guess. I guess you can't uh, have enough. You can never have enough nigs. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as too many nigs. Not enough N nigs. Mr. That's nigs. a good idea for a sitcom based on Steve Nig <laughs> and his life. Because st basically, Steve, you really are kind of an American hero if you think about it. For beating up Jared. Yeah. Why? Why like were you in zero. jail? Why was Why was Steve Nig in jail? What Gun did you charges? do? Gun charges. An actual cool thing to be in jail for. Gun charges. 
Like just having a gun when you're not supposed to? I don't know. What exactly were you in jail for? Do you, do you want to talk about that or? Well, I tried to, uh, the cops don't know this, so, but you know, it's a long time ago, statute of limitations. I, I had a gun. Yeah. I was not registered. Uh, and I held up a, uh, convenience store and, mm. um, they didn't know I, about the holdup, but they, they did catch me with the gun later on. It was illegal. And then I, I got th thrown in prison with um, deplorables like uh, this other gentleman on the phone. I can't believe you're, you're believing this crook's stories. He's a crook. He's, he sounds like he's rehabilitated to me. I'm a respected businessman. This he, person's a crook. He's out on the street, like robbing poor can. You know what it's kind of like. Owners. You know what it's kind of like. You remember when Pee Wee Herman steals <clears throat> his bike from the movie set, steals his bike back, and rides through Warner Brothers Studios and causes all that damage and stuff. Yeah. But then he stops and saves the pets from the pet store on fire, and then he's redeemed. And that's kind of what Mr. Nig did here. Is he? Yeah, he made his. Well, how he is made that, some mistakes. He's, he's just taking his own bike back in the movie. How does that relate to this situation? You're well, Mister Nig was so Mister Nig needed to needed needed to feed his family, and you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. What about the poor guy at the convenience store? He doesn't he's need fine. to feed his family. He's fine. And actually, Steve, Mister Nig, I believe you guys are friends now, right? And you have him over for Thanksgiving. Is that true? Uh, me and me and uh, yes, we me and the convenience store owner, we have Thanksgiving every year together. Oh my god! Yeah. Like, a a a, yeah. it's like a such tiny Tim situation. It's like a tiny Tim situation. What's a, it's like a tiny Tim situation. Like Christmas Carol. How's this? How does? Well, Steve, it's beautiful. Steve I, Nick gets gives him a big turkey for after robbing his store. But they eat it. You're together. a big turkey. What? You heard what That's, I said. <laughs> That's that's amazing talk coming someone who's a spokesman for a place that makes a terrible turkey club. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. The, I yeah, think well, the turkey is the technically. Dean club. The turkey's technically. I would not try that if my life depended on it. Okay. You're yeah. What's in the we'll Coons Club? That. What's in the Coons Club? What's if I ever Coons if club? I ever see Dean Coots, I'm gonna beat his ass, and I'm gonna say nice. it's because of you. Okay? <laughs> You you could you couldn't come within ten feet of Dean Koontz. That's who are some other people that if you could get your hands on them, who who are some other people that you would beat up, Steve? Yeah, this guy's just he's just a maniac who goes around punching celebrities. Oh, like he's I, he's the fucking he's like the, the the John Wayne Gacy, the guy that shot John Lennon. Like he's that guy. No. You know? He's just shooting celebrities well, I already, willy nilly. Why well, Nelson? Couple uh about, you know, three, four years ago I beat the shit out of the Travago guy oh really? yeah he beat the shivago guy <laughs> what did he do why'd you do that <laughs> what well, sandwich did he make I, I, See, this guy to do just with gets sandwiches. upset when somebody makes a sandwich yeah it's nothing to do with sandwiches okay retard. Well, you know how people say don't meet your heroes yeah well yeah. i saw him out at uh you know at a mall yeah. and i said hey can i get a i get a selfie and he said nine he said quote not right now, bub. And okay. I said, that's it. I flipped the switch and I pounded his ass. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, see, this guy this guy's a nut. Did he and at you least guys fight are like back? on his side? No, well, Meanwhile, I've done your show fifty times and uh -huh. I bring in all a huge audience. Everyone loves me. I'm They're the number the one guest rated. on your show, and you continue to treat me like shit. They're actually the lowest rated shows in our library. And we get I mean, we get literal hate mail when after you're on. Yeah. No, you don't. You get like I, I see your Patreon. I see the numbers go up. No, and I don't even get a cut of that. You're probably looking. You probably. I, I don't think you can because technically, because you're in prison and you're a child. Molester. You can't profit off of your crimes. No, I was I was falsely I was framed. Look it up, honey. For the full uncut episode, head to Patreon.com/slash/WorldRecordPodcast. World For the full uncut episode, head to Patreon.com/slash/WorldRecordPodcast. Patreon.com slash World Record Podcast.